A country's official language is often an important part of its national identity. But as a country of immigrants, does the United States have a strong identity tied to one unifying language? Before we answer that question, please subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video. While most people may assume the official language of the US is English, this actually isn't true. The United States doesn't have an official language at the federal level, and it never has. There's no mention of an official language in the Constitution, and the Founding Fathers didn't appear to have a recorded opinion on the matter. But that doesn't mean it hasn't been a subject of heated debate for centuries. Let's take a deeper look at this issue over the years, and where it stands today. You can trace the argument about an official language back at least as far as the 1750s, when British settlers in Pennsylvania raised concerns about many of their neighbors speaking German. Things got particularly heated when the Brits began seeing street signs in both English and German, but by 1790, Germans made up about 33% of Pennsylvania's population. And of course, Native American speakers were speaking more than 300 indigenous languages long before any Europeans arrived, English speakers or otherwise. The next couple of centuries saw a slew of attempts by nativists to ban other languages and force assimilation. In the late 1800s, Native American children were sent to boarding schools where they were forced to learn English and punished if they spoke their own languages. They even had to give up their names and replace them with English ones. Recent efforts have attempted to revitalize indigenous languages, and a couple of states have even made Native American tongues official languages, but more on that later. If we go back to the early 1900s, around the time of World War I, at least 14 states banned teaching German in schools, and Montana made it illegal to speak the language in public. Then, during World War II, Japanese schools started by immigrants in Hawaii were forced to close, as fears of the Japanese people were stoked by the federal government. And throughout history, slaves were prohibited from speaking their native languages because slave owners were afraid they'd start a rebellion. So, despite having no official language on the books, things have gotten pretty ugly over the years when it comes to non-English languages in the U.S. Now, you're probably wondering, have there been efforts to legally make English the official language? The answer is of course. Certain groups are determined to make English the law of the land. English is the de facto language of the U.S., as over 300 million Americans speak it and it's used for government documents and business contracts. But some lawmakers want to make it official. In 1981, a representative from Hawaii introduced a constitutional amendment to make English the official language of the U.S. It failed. Then in 2006, the U.S. Senate passed an English language amendment to an immigration reform bill, but the bill never became law. The failed attempts to write an official language into federal law haven't stopped states from taking individual action on the matter. 31 states have their own laws proclaiming English as the official language, which usually just means it has to be used for government communications. Three states have declared more than one official language. In addition to English, Hawaii has Hawaiian, South Dakota has Sioux, and Alaska has more than 20 indigenous languages. The debate over whether to make English the official language of the U.S. may never be concluded, and the rising use of other languages is only fueling the fire of English-only supporters. According to a 2015 U.S. Census report, at least 350 languages are spoken in homes across the country, and that number is certain to increase in the next census. So while English isn't going anywhere, it also isn't going it alone. And that's the official word on that.